show you guys the colonial nerves because this is fun. I've been doing it a lot, and I feel bad for my patients that I haven't been doing on. Mm. Line your side face this way. So I usually just try to feel for strings. Um, it's, it's a great way to start. It's a great way to start. Strings. Let's see if he has one. It's amazing if he didn't have one out of all the stuff he wouldn't have. <laughs> Some people don't have these, Chris? No, I mean, you have all these nerves that are entrapped in twelve, oh. and if you didn't have one of these. You can check me. I will. I'm going to show you both. Because this might be a way how you can unload my back a little bit. So he actually has the lateral, that oh, yeah. lateral hypogastric right here. So his middle colonial is kind of bad. Yeah, that is. You're medial to the PSIS. The PSIS is right here. I just feel for strings, and then I feel the string. These are eight pretty easy to treat, and then you just bow down. So they're fun to treat, and when they're stuck, they can make a big deal. So if right. someone's having a disc problem, which I am, then this will. This will deload their low back. He needs low back treatment. He does. So you're gonna treat his middle colonial. Okay. Did you have a provocative test? Uh, I could lean backwards and make it hurt in a second. Okay. <laughs> You're right. getting further than before, though. At the back, it's like a five. Both sides? More, I'm still on the left. Right. This is it, James, right? That's more it. So it feels like a tiny noodle that when you come in here behind it, there's more space. And then when you try to push down, it's like it stops you. Mm -hmm. And then when I roll my thumb over, I can, I'm able to feel the, the noodle roll over my thumb. Oh, I roll over it. Like a dente pasta. Yeah. Maybe more on the dente side. Toothy pasta side. Oh. Okay. I'm just going to bow it down, Chris. I would stand and then get it in there. James, come forward a little bit. Yep. Sorry, James. Yeah. Reveal some of you. Push down. I will, I would get your forearm going straight down. Like this? And then just perpendicular, your bone. The, your, like the MVS we did. Yeah. You're making the clean of wedge around your. No, I'm gonna. Can I go like this? Put your form up there. Yes. See how So I mean they're doing this? Yeah, that's what I had my hand on. Okay, okay. more of this. Beautiful, okay. That was that was wrong there. There you go. Go ahead. And you should feel it flossing right away. <laughs> Felt good. Yeah. I felt like that was intense. Compared to other things, I felt like it. it I felt it come under me, but it wasn't like the envy. The envy was like a different mm -hmm. story. It's softer. One more. Just just medial to the PSIS. Just medial to it and a little bit down slightly, and it's still a little bit stuck there. The S1 here, right, James? This is where he was at. Yes. Yeah. Can you do this? Yes. Okay. Okay. 
take Is it better? Maybe it'll feel like more. Like way more. But the hair thing's on the left side, not the right side, so. Yeah, but it helped. It was like a three, it was like a six before. Sick. But I'm getting way more range. Check the superior first. Was I doing that before? No, you, well, he had metal, so. I mean, we can check metal, it doesn't matter. Superior will be up here? Or more S out here? Superior is, comes this way and goes down like this. Can you give me an iPad, James, please? Those. Okay, cool. So you're just feeling, I usually just get in here and I just, I'm looking for those strings, so. Strings. And they can all, you also want to check them as they go over the iliac crest. Cause right, because that's where it keeps going. That's where that little tunnel is that they go down on top of the glutes. It's clean. Uh, I found some stuff more like in here and coming up a little bit over here. I just want to just check every single one. Okay. I feel like this is more stuck. You want a bigger pillow, Chris? No, I'm good. You sure? Mm -hmm. You sure? Yes, ma'am. Okay. This feels like noodles. You feeling them? Mm hmm. This is one for sure. I think so. You might be getting close to the lateral and helpful gastric. Comes down more up and down, less at like a 45 degree angle. This was a little stuck right here. So when you're done palpating, whatever spot you feel is bad, let Jane palpate, James palpate, and then if you want to treat something, we can. This is one of them. This has to go. Yeah. And they go, uh, at least the last one, they go to at least two. And they reach all the L's. Which is interesting. Because you can treat the cranial nerve. And then there are deep T erectors, but superficial to QL, right? Yeah. yeah, the deep T erectors. You can get them. I feel like Costalis is not there. Mm. And they come through Iliocostalis. You find it, James? I was looking at the uh, the inferior or the medial middle. one, middle. That's one of the S3. Mm -hmm. You looking for middle? I was feeling it. So I was just curious. Are you on it? I think there's one right under here. I think so. Casey, can you confirm? Horse fingers. Mm hmm Okay, cool. You did it. This would be just hip flexion, correct? Yes. And then you're gonna bow into it like this, James. So when I hip flex the hip, it's gonna floss like this. It's like NBS. Tension set. Tell me when. Good. Hold on, pause. I'm just thinking. Okay, go ahead. Slow. 
Oh, Casey. That's good. We check it. It was a little softer, but I feel like the tissue under it got irritated. I don't know. Because of the scar probably has a lot of stuff in here. Maybe a little bit in here. Do you agree, Chris? I think so. Try, um, I think that I usually just take tension straight superior. So I'm not going complete perpendicular angle. Do you like on an angle like that? If 45? it's going out oblique, I'm going at, yeah, I'm hitting it there. Um, because if you try to do a perpendicular, it's almost like you could miss it. Mm, I see what you mean. Motion. So you have to chase it almost. Go. Good. Good. So you're that? taking tension more like that way in the room. Like if the nerve is like this, I'm going like this. Okay, you were right on it. Got a little compressive at the end. Yeah, because my thumb was like losing it and I wanted to make sure I stayed on it, that's why. Okay, recheck it. Yeah, it's definitely. Come here, James. You can literally feel it move freely right here. Did you have a provocative, sir? Good job, guys. How was uh, feedback time? Feedback time. That was good. It was just a little compressed, though. That's all I said. If you're really interested in learning more about fixing chronic musculoskeletal pain in 30, 60 year olds and adhesion release methods, our system to diagnose and treat it and actually do this work, hit the subscribe, hit the like, make sure your notifications are turned on and stay tuned for more videos.